Two, one, Barrow-Katir is here. Orcus Relay on Pluto. Barrow-Katir has arrived. That's right. Barrow-Katir is here. This week, everyone, ya boy, welcome Barrow-Katir the Vo Void Trader. As I said, he is on the Orcus Relay on Pluto. You get your mail there. And guess what? <gasps> He has an Ultra Sentinel Wings! Oh my! I don't know if y'all have been paying attention to Barrow, but they've been giving us a lot of new Sentinel and Companion type items. I think it's mainly been Sentinels from Barrow these past months. I think it's been in preparation for the Companion rework, because that is the new new item right there. Other than that, we have Fanged Fuselage. I don't know if you can farm this elsewhere, but I always buy mods from Barrow because I'm lazy and I'd rather farm random uh, relics than focus farm mods. But I'd pick up Prime Fuselage, Fanged Fuselage, sorry. Slash damage OP, because it's slash damage, so it's OP. Prime to ammo stock, it's ammo capacity for shotgun, sorry, magazine capacity for shotgun. Good, but nothing I'd use on really anything, so it's up to you. That's more of a splash on mod, right? Or depending. Prisma Yamako Sindana. Overall, it's very pretty, but it's pretty, like, minimal, so. Meh. We got another Sentinel Mask looking, looking like something. Just a ball of disgustingness. Nice. We have the Prisma Skana. Prisma Skana. As you can see, it's a Skana, so it's a slash weapon. Decent crit could be higher, but it could be lower. Prisma Skana is always a pretty decent weapon overall to grab and level up and get you mastery rank 4, so would recommend without a doubt. We have Mark of the Beast, which is an interesting mod on 6 melee kills within 6 seconds. Status and critical chance for secondary weapons increases for... 24 seconds. So it's a mod where you'll want to nuke people with melee, throw it on your secondary, and kill everyone with that, right? Because it kind of makes the use of both. So it's probably not great for a combo build for melee, but it's good for a non combo build if you feel like it. Throwing it on a glaive or whatnot for a thrown melee. And have fun there. Or if it's thrown melee, you can probably throw it on, guess what? The wool sledge. <laughs> then you have the Prypha Xyphos Prisma skin. It's very pretty skin, but you know, skins be skins. Another big old arrow skin if you want your arrowheads to look goofy as hell and like they're a taser. Um, then we have the Prisma Machete, which is a cool good status slash weapon, right? Similar to the Prisma Skana, but instead of crit, this one is slash. Same weapon though, overall. Similar stats of slash weapon, it's just, do you want crit or do you want status? Your choice. We have Corrupted Heavy. Gunner Spectres, a Glaring Sigil. We have the Katir Stencil. I think I use this for a bit. We have a Bronze Kavat Bust. These are also and always beautiful. Hello. We have an Ornament, which is also very beautiful. It's just a spiky ball of death, really. Hey, we got Primed Rubido Lined Barrel. Okay, Primed Rubido Lined Barrel is awesome. It's just straight up arc wing gun damage. Arc gun damage, I should say. Not arc wing gun. But anyways, it's awesome. You want it. All of your arc gun builds want it. Get that? You know, get it. Also, reminder, like, subscribe, check out the socials, Epic Games creator code Pupsker, and I have a Pupsker Genshin second YouTube channel. Thank you. We have a Tanuki Longsword skin. Oh, look at that. Throw that on the Tatsu or something, right? That's Longsword Tatsu. Okay, either way. It's pretty, if you like it. Rhapsody in blue. We have a fake vinyl record. Don't worry about it. Gara Immortal skin. I like it. All the mortal skins are like the same vibe, of course, but Gara Glass is cool. Granir Greth Chest Plate. Okay. I like it. I, I always like the little tassels. Physics. Look at the cheek. Okay. The little tassel tassels. You little leg things. Oh, the metal on that jangles. Jangles about. Okay. We've got more Granir stuff. This one's not a jangler. Piece of leg metal. Uh, Operator Drifter cosmetic. Off to Operator <laughs> Drifter Cosmetic. <laughs> it looks so goofy. The Theodolite suits are so goofy. Uh, then you got like Puffy Arm Jacket McGee over here trying to be that one Valkyr Puffy Arm skin. You got your little leggings, I guess. Your like jean. No, what is it? Like spandex. <laughs> Grants on Fenlar. Oh, we got the Day of the Dead Kavod Armor. Burr, burr, burr. In perfect time for the companion rework and since it's October Halloween, right? 
So there you go. Look, it even has little shoes. It's so cute. And then it has like little, uh, little fast armor things there. It's so adorable. It looks like a Kavat witch. I love it. 10 out of 10 would Kavat again. And then the Day of the uh, Dead sword skin. We'll wait till it wraps around there. It looks very pretty with my current status ailments on it. Look at that! With the little like pink explosions going all over it. It looks nice. Good particles with particle look again. Day of the Dead bow skin. Got a lot of our Day of the Dead stuff because it's Halloween now. Looking pretty, looking pretty. Dread, Day of the Dead. Yeah, Dread. Dead, dead. Sometimes they bring it back here, sometimes they bring it back there. We got nice spooky Halloween Grendel in my belly. Sands of Naros and Fae Path of Febra, as always. And as I like to show here and there, sometimes a lot, sometimes I forget for years, we, if we go in Naros Prime, we can, uh, you can do the special Barrow-Katir mission. God, King. And he has a special audio, right? Me, so you can do that if you ever want. Might we mm. adventure together? I think this mission mainly gets you co some cosmetics, and then it repeats for funsies, for the memes, etc, etc. I have a very ugly Inaros. Uh, maybe I'll fashion frame an Inaros properly one year, but for now, I only have ugly Inaros. So look at nice Invara Prime. Yeah! Sub, like, and go check out Barrow on the Orcus Relay on Pluto if you need. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Cheers.